The Guru of Squad Double Zero, the assassin like no other, yes, and the best at what I do. One of the most notorious in YouTube anime and manga community. Don't doubt me, please just don't do it. Seemingly quick, rushed intro on like a lot of my videos. But look, man, look. I, I don't, I'm not too fond of doing these kind of videos. I don't mind doing them, but I'm not fond. Now, it's different from a couple years ago when I did my Naruto equals unimpressive and fairy tale equals shown in comedy. It was kind of more lighthearted, more, you know, throwing a couple jabs here and there. It was analytical, but it was more for entertainment purposes. This one, not so much. This one is a derivative of a complete attack or legitimate questioning of my analytical ability. That I'm not cool with. Now, it's not that I don't mind people critiquing me. It's not that I don't mind criticism. It's not that I don't mind objection. Look, one of the ways I best learn is through debate. I'm just go and put that out there. Actual debate, not what people claim to be debate, but actual debate. That's a whole nother topic for another day. The problem is, people act like they've never seen me talk, never heard me talk, never seen any of my videos, don't know what I'm about. What is the main model of my channel? Logic, reason, facts, and evidence. Why would I not be giving valid reasoning to a claim a bold claim at that that I made. And what is this specific bold claim? Kingdom. We're talking about the manga here. We're talking about the series of Kingdom. Kingdom had a trash beginning. The beginning was trash. It was booty and trash. Now, I don't come out claims as outrageous seemingly as much as, as often. That's, that's a rarity. It's very, an, it's very much so an audacious claim. A very bold one indeed. But why would I make it unless I have actual reasoning? I don't just come out here and spew opinion. That's not how I get down, ladies and gentlemen, in case that hasn't clicked in your mind yet. So, not to make this a long video, because I, again, don't want to do this, but I got to defend myself properly and in a proper context. There are seven reasons why. Kingdom had a flawed beginning. Now, I'm not saying that Kingdom's a bad series. I'm not saying it doesn't improve. I'm not saying any of this. I'm specifically talking about its origin. Period. Period. And origin period, people act like oh, the origin is like 15, 30 chapters. That's not how origins work. The origins within the first five chapters. Period. And especially in the long running. Sometimes it's a chapter, sometimes it's two, three. But the first five chapters of a long running, long running series is its origin. If I compare it to One Piece, what happened by chapter five? Exactly. Naruto, what happened by chapter five? Exactly. Toriko, da da da, you name it. What happened by chapter five? Thank you. Now, specifically to Kingdom. First point, and one of the most important in this situation, it's setting. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what setting means, it is three things. Time, place, atmosphere. Kingdom is supposed to be based. I know it's shonen and I know it's fiction. It's historical fiction, ladies and gentlemen. That is its genre. Supposed to be. It's shonen, but it's also historical fiction. This is one of the same problems I had with the beginning of Roroni Kitchen, where I may have to revisit it. I may have to revisit the manga because the anime, mm, I had issues with both the dub and the sub. But when you present yourself as historical, you better be damn near historically accurate. Or at least somewhat accurate. How do you present yourself at a certain time period and not portray yourself as a certain time period. Sure the clothing, sure you use the references to actual people, but ladies and gentlemen, you have to, if it's going to be dealing with classes clashing, classism, you have to get that accurate. Kingdom did not do that. Shin, and I, one of the points will be Shin's goal, in fact that will be the second point. Shin, how he reacts in his thoughts or not historically depicted accurately. Seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, he was an orphan of a lower class. How in the world is he going to be a warrior like that? It didn't work in ancient times, generally. 
unless it was a military draft by an emperor, king, etc. Period. He, point number two. J j just, just think with that. Historical setting is flawed. That is one of the biggest problems and why it's flawed. Literally, it's flawed. Now, on a side note, you can have series like One Piece and Naruto, who, well, One Piece is an adventure story, deals with some fantasy elements. Naruto's got the whole fantasy vibe to it. They may do some historical references, more or less, or at least allusions to it, but they're in a completely different world. Kingdom is supposed to take place in ancient China, if I'm not mistaken. Think about it. Point number two, Shin's goal, outrageous. And people were like, well, you know, Monkey D. Luffy is trying to be king of the pirates. We didn't know what that entailed in the world of One Piece. World of One Piece had devil fruits. A rubber man. That shows it's going to be completely different. It ain't like the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. The real Pirates of the Caribbean, okay? Not the depiction down that Disney's picked up. Not the trilogy, all right? The trilogy in this one. We're talking about, yeah, but not the movies. We're talking about the actual golden age of piracy, quote unquote. Uh, Naruto wasn't true shinobis. They weren't true ninjas in feudal Japan. Feel what I'm saying? Toriko, it, it based in some realism, then goes off and does his own thing. Magi the Labyrinth of Magic, even though it takes from Thousand and One Nights, it completely goes elsewhere. I can present story after story. When you have a goal, it's got to be realistic if you're basing it in a realistic setting. Hajime no Ippo, realistic. Holy Land, realistic. Now, Hajime no Ippo is shonen. Holy Land is sane. Okay? Gotta understand this, ladies and gentlemen. Shingeki no Kyojin, different world. Different stuff. Clear and pure and simple. When you're trying to base it off a historical setting or current setting, the Baki series, very realistic series, and even though it expands and does superhuman abilities and whatnot, and power, you could say, quote unquote, still, it's based in realism. And I'm not saying that Kingdom doesn't have any form of realism, but Shin's goal is outrageous. Who he's trying to take down and whatnot. First, where he's at and where he tries to be. Like, it, do it doesn't add up. It makes no sense. It's an unrealistic goal. It is outrageous. It is ludicrous. Thus, achieving such is going to take a bunch of duix machina, a bunch of manipulation of fate that makes, that doesn't add up logically. That's an issue, ladies and gentlemen. Point number three. Now, I think I had seven. I gotta, I gotta make sure. I know it's at least five, but most likely seven. Point number three. The turn of events that started the story. Okay. Instead of introducing the whole state of affairs, like Vagabond does. Vagabond, another very realistic series. I know the same, but still, very realistic in the way it does. With Masashi Miyamoto. The way Vagabond introduces it, it introduces him in a very intense, realistic setting. Survival of a battle, whatever. That's chapter one. That's not really spoiled. Shit, we're not introduced. It, it, it sets up the world of Vagabond. Kingdom did not get that world set up. We're introduced to Shin, an orphan taken in with this abusive situation. And all of a sudden, somehow, by chance, somebody comes by, da da da, the world's falling apart. We should have been introduced to the, the kingdoms at war. That, that's what we should have been more introduced to begin with. And then maybe go into Shin. Or, better yet, not have Shin, what, 11, 12 years old, 14, however the boy, however the boy was. Seriously. You could say, whoa, you can of course show a flashback later. Many series do it. But starting at which he did, did not make sense for the series because it causes a series of unfortunate events. Logically, anyways. So, the start of it was a flaw. Moving on. 
point number four. The whole situation with with the adoption. Now, this is a problem because the dude is brought into an abusive situation. And I'm not saying that doesn't happen. But let's just think about this. The guy does not want this kid here. In ancient China, why would he bring him into his house? Slavery is a different story in of itself. But he's beating his kid and his kid is supposedly a freeloader. But they're allowed to do kind of sort of what they want to do. Even though they're working. Like, th think about this. Okay. You got a guy. Who can't really stand, you know, extra dudes, not wealthy, okay? Can't really provide for another kid. He brings a kid in, and he acts like the kid's the problem, all his woes and miseries. How often would that really happen out here? Seriously. It doesn't add up, once again. And you could call it, well, you're, you're picking in minor points. This is a whole combination of Shin's origin. Point number five. At least at the origin. If we're going to go this far back, why not show what happened at the beginning? His childhood. His real childhood. Why not just go that far back? If we're going to go all the way back here, and we're just going to pick this random point of time that apparently starts off this whole encounter, why not just go back to the real origins? Why did he become orphaned anyway? Seriously. It would make for more logical sense. Either you start later or you start early. You don't start at just this random point in time. It, do it doesn't add up. Once again. You could say, whoa, he's starting. They're starting at an important point. I get that. Timing is everything. At the point in which they start, the, the story was dragged in. Let me put it this way. We're dropping this origin story that seemingly has zero relation to the rest of the story. Let me use, for example, a character of Batman. You could say, oh, you, you're the one using realistic it's literature, ladies and gentlemen. And since this is logically a problem, let me use a series which uses the logic. Batman. Batman. His origin. You know, his mom and dad killed right in front of him and all that jazz. He goes off and he trains. Well, you know, he has a school and he goes off and he gets trained as martial artist, da da da. He, the true origins, what he saw, it affected him for the rest of his life. And it helped to mold him into who he became. Bruce Wayne became Batman because of that event. Pure and simple. Pure and simple. Shin, he seemingly already had this desire out of nowhere for whatever reason you could use one piece where we clearly saw uh, Shanks and finally, eventually Yonko red haired Shanks was the inspiration for Luffy to become a pirate okay in the series of Toriko Toriko was already relatively developed in his you know gourmet he was this big time Bishopio so we didn't have to worry. Yeah, we'll eventually we'll get a flashback. That's what I'm talking about at a later point in time. It makes sense. Vagabond. You have Miyamoto. Uh, you know, Masashi Miyamoto. The protagonist. He's already been. They've already been in battle. Okay? The, the battle's ended and he survived. That's already carving out his character. Shin somehow has a character that's like this. But for no reason. Why does he desire these things? He just wants it just because he wants glory? I mean, it's not really what he wants it um, because, you know, it's his fancy. I mean, I understand, you know, the whole thing of coming up. I understand being patriotic, I suppose. But given his current situation that had no relation or at least that knowledge of the childhood again this may have all been this may all be revealed later but we don't know so he just has this goal for whatever reason I, 
I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. Number six, Shin. This dude here. I mean, I've come across generic, you can say, protagonists. I've come across protagonists that need a lot of work. But my lord. I'm huge, and you can say this is personal. Whatever. I will throw this out there. I'm huge about protagonists. Generally, the protagonists are the best characters in the series. And if they're not, they're pretty damn close. Shin. He's not a static character like Luffy and other characters, I could say. And and I'm often hammering manga code. The Shin's not the only one I have an issue with. Yes. Okay. Uzumaki Naruto. Not too right near. Going freaks. Oh, going freaks. All dynamic characters. Very negative. And yet, they're, they are ne necessarily dynamic characters. But the way that they're placed... I'm not saying they can't develop. I'm not saying they don't get characterization. But you set them up to where it's like... He's already here, but he needs so much more growth. You put him so in such an extreme category that the growth is going to be limited, ladies and gentlemen. Of course he can do some badass things. Of course he can do some cool, crazy things. But stuff doesn't add up, once again. You're limiting your character by making him so extreme. Again. If we would have understood where he was coming from, his mindset, if, you know, instead of being such a verbal character, it was more of an internal thing, okay, I can get that. If Shin showed this later on and we show a contrast of uh, ideologies or whatever going on, okay, but Shin shows to be seemingly a very simplistic character like Golden Freaks. And it now forces other characters in the series to have to be very complex in order to not simply support, but to make up for the lack of developed character. Again, I'm not saying Shin doesn't get developed. I'm just saying it's origins. This is the template in which you use. It was a poor selection. Poor selection. And now, seven, 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 seven. I gotta remember if, if there is a seven. Because the video is going on long enough. Um, I can't think if, if I had a 7th at this time. But those are at least 6. And I think they're all legitimate. If you don't think I was accurate in my portrayal. Please tell me. Please. In a legitimate fashion. And again. Like I said. I recognize that the series is ongoing. I recognize it's got like 400 plus shatters. I get that. I'm not saying Shin doesn't come up. I'm not saying he doesn't develop. I'm not saying the series is trash. I'm simply talking about the origin itself and the flaws of the origin that itself presented and the amount of work that had to be do done in order to circumvent the problems of the origin. I expect to wonder why come subscribe to me your thoughts on the origin of Kingdom. Don't just say it was good and great. Explain why. Alright y'all, have a beautiful day, beautiful day. Peace.